Hello and welcome. Tired of manual data entry and endless copy pasting from PDFs and images? Meet Doxumo's Data Tables, a powerful new feature that lets you extract structured table data from your documents in seconds. In this video, you'll see how to go from a pile of documents to a clean data table, how to filter and review the extracted data, and a real world use case, all in just a few minutes. To access data tables, you can either click this icon on the left panel or navigate to any of these document type cards and select data tables. What you'll see next is a tabular view of all the data extracted from the documents you've uploaded for this document type. This single view provides access to a wealth of data at a glance. Data Tables offers a user-friendly tabular display of all extracted data from multiple documents. Let's explore some of the key features of this view. What you see here is the data from all documents that have been processed for this document type. Each column represents all the key value pairs from a single document. You can also view the tabular data within a document by clicking on the table icon. For instance, if we click here, we can see all the transactions or line items for a specific bank statement. You can use the search function to find data within the extracted information. For example, let's search for bank. The search results will show all instances where the term bank appears, and you can navigate through these results using these arrows. This feature enables quick and easy data navigation. You can also search for specific terms like an account number or name. You can also apply custom filters to the data, tailoring the view to your specific needs. For instance, if you wish to view data with an account name containing David, you can apply this filter. By doing so, you will only be able to see documents with the account name David. Let's make this more powerful by adding additional filters. For example, if we want to see documents from a specific bank, we can add a filter for that. Let's say the bank name contains Wells. We can also filter to only see documents with an opening balance greater than 1,000. As you can see, we now have two statements from Wells Fargo with an opening balance greater than the value we specified. If you want to reorganize this view, you can do so. For example, if you want the bank name at the beginning, followed by the account number, and then the account name, you can rearrange it in that order. You can even rename the bank name to entity name. If you want to only see the entity name and account number and hide everything else, that's possible too. We'll keep the entity name and account number, and now we can only see these two columns. The best part is that all of these modifications are saved for you. If you navigate away from this view and then return, everything will be as you left it, including the filters. Let's add a filter for the entity name to contain bank. If we leave and come back, the filter is still in place. We can also sort the data in ascending or descending order based on the filters we've applied. After applying all filters, the data can be downloaded in a CSV format providing instant access to the information displayed on the screen. Imagine the value of doing this for hundreds, thousands, or even millions of documents. Now, let's discuss how to edit the data. Doxumo features a review screen that allows for document editing. Let's demonstrate this using data tables. Suppose there was no entity name here, and we want to extract it. On the right side, a panel appears displaying the document itself in a small image at the bottom. We know it's Barclays, therefore let's add Barclays here. Let's confirm this. We'll do the same in the next cell, adding it and then confirming. This is how you can edit any data on the tables. But suppose you want to do more, such as having the entire document present and working with additional keys. In that case, you can open the review screen, Doxumo's primary screen, for reviewing documents. When you visit this screen, the document appears on the right side with all the key fields on the left. Here you can edit, view, and see where the data was sourced from. Consider the editing feature on top of data tables and how it can be of immediate value to your organization. Let's say your organization needs to review bank statements from customers, clients, or applicants daily. Your team is tasked with identifying statements with debits greater than 2,000. The aim is to segregate these accounts for further due diligence. Traditionally, you would upload the documents onto a platform, either through API or UI. 
you would then have to go through all the documents, select all, and download the data. This data would then be transferred to an Excel sheet where you would manually check which documents have debits exceeding the specified value. However, with data tables, this process can be significantly streamlined. First, let's look at the line items to understand what we're dealing with. Here we have a transaction table from Alibank. We want to flag any debit transaction that exceeds 2,000. To do this, we can create a filter. By creating a filter and selecting debits, we can isolate transactions greater than 2,000. Once we apply the filters, they are applied across all tables. As you can see, there's one transaction that exceeds 2,000, and it's displayed here. This filter will be applied to all the documents in your account. It will go through each document, identify the specific debit transaction that exceeds 2,000, and display it. After filtering, we see that from the initial 16 statements, we are left with 12. Going into one of these transaction lists, you can see that the debits exceed 2,000. All the filter data here can be exported. You also have the option to add an additional filter for the date of creation or modification. This ensures that you only view data added on those particular dates. You can simply enter the date, in this case, March 25th, 2025 starting at 00. After applying the filter, only documents uploaded from that day onwards will be displayed. This means that as a company or a power user of Daxumo, you can adjust the date to view all accounts with transactions exceeding 2000 in a single view. All that's left to do is export the CSV from Daxumo and use it as you like. That is the power of data tables. Stay tuned for more videos where we explain how to solve more problems and tackle more use cases with the workflow built on data tables. Thank you for watching and happy data extracting with Daxumo.